Track 10, Hello World. Salute track before the big end, before the big finish, charisma, the slowed down house dance tune coming up. Much like the uh, eyeliner back catalog, it was written in chord space. This keyboard VST, if we have this kind of thing. Lots of echo, lots of stacking, but this uh, chord progression generally is uh, cyclical, although revoiced with more voicings um, across the piece, using some clever and confusing voice leading. D6, G major 7. It has this kind of salvational um, lullaby emotion for me. Uh, I was thinking about, I, I just found out that I was going to be an uncle. So it's kind of about my new nephew arriving, Tomoana, who's now nearly 10. Cherished kid. Absolute legend. Um, yeah, so I was, uh, I had this idea about doing like a Debussy impressionistic sati type um, piece for Disaster Radio it's a short little interlude track it's somewhat um, influenced by things like uh, RPG sleep music tavern music it's kind of JRPG um, pastoral uh, comfy but also quite uh, complex and meandering. So the whole piece is basically one this one synth solo. There's the vintage synth, synth version of one track. I'll take it off solo here. So it's got like a, a vintage kind of, uh, let's see what the synth's from. This is Novation V Station doing this kind of modulated lead sound, very dry. Next up, next against this uh, pulse width modulation, more sort of chip tune thing. Then a more polyphonic after sound type patch from uh, CS40. It, re it uh, repeats again. Same phrase from the beginning here as here. Kind of recapitulates to this, what I call like a lullaby part. kind of like Amazing Grace, sort of. Ending on this quite obvious cadence. So yeah, it's just a little interlude track. It's two minutes 20 that should feel like a minute, you know, it just kind of goes through. 
Got a little bit of sketch stuff. Be kind of all kinds of random stuff because this was a kind of a new thing to use. Uh, these kind of jazz chords, sixths and sevenths, um, and everything's sort of <laughs> quite randomly arranged. What is even this stuff here? This is just a random um, Baroque style computer was part that I was trying to write. Yeah, this is just random sketch stuff from... Obviously I would have grabbed these patches that I was... Just, this is just MIDI recordings. Um, I would have grabbed these patches and then engaged it with Chord Space, the Chord Keyboard plugin. This little thing. And then sort of pivoted in the middle of the session to, to write this chord progression. Accentuated by the Poly 6 arpeggio, the whole album's got arpeggios all over it, of course. But it has this kind of like haunting, sort of uh, impressionist, sort of even like a opium den type, like six sevenths um, proto jazz harmony sort of um, sense to it, which I was, that's what I was going for anyway. And Hello World is the um, computing cliche where you would write your first program. Uh, would be to learn the fundamentals of any programming language uh, to output the text hello world to the screen or the printer. So it's this idea about sort of rebirth or birth or uh, renewal or sleep, uh, sort of hypnagogic, haunted, sort of uh, perfumed, fleeting, half asleep, half awake. And it serves as a kind of epilogue to the record backed up by another epilogue with charisma it's almost as if this is the end of the record and if, if you if you're a if charisma is like the action movie this is the uh kind of the questionable uh yet conclusive finale uh this kind of uh like the end of the quiet uh quiet earth where it's just sort of goes crazy or even the end of 2001 and i know that uh number one video guy Simon Ward has this same uh, connection to this device of this uh, sort of transformation at the end this kind of jump into a parallel universe and then so after this epilogue there is the other one where it's like char charisma is a more dark sort of slow down house track that I wrote um, and that's kind of the uh, post credits role the, the villain coming back to life uh, this kind of more energetic ending so hello world and charisma in my mind both in the album in this kind of bifold way where it's like a conclusion and then a sort of uh recapitulated conclusion of like what's going to happen next and this always tends to happen on my records is the track the last track sets up uh the mood and sort of jumps out at the end of it um like a kind of um, reverse sort of cadence. You expect the thing to resolve in a certain way, but at the end it's like there's a, a reveal. Um, and I did this with in um, High Fashion Mood Music by Eyeliner. It has, um, it has Homo Electronicus. The end of Lapa Luxury by Eyeliner has New Zealand, which is like a breakbeat track and kind of breaks the mold of the record. Um, Charisma has charisma. Um, yeah. Even Visions with um, Virtual Sunset is that kind of proto eyeliner stuff. I love it when, the, when a record ends on a kind of um, tilt. Particularly like Who's Kadoo's Flip Your Wig. Uh, it's got a great pair of um, instrumental tracks at the end of it just checking which which those are yeah the wood and the wisdom and don't know yet like don't even don't know yet by who's could do on flip your wig from 80, 80 1985 it's got a kind of strange backwards guitar thing
And I always thought maybe uh, long may she uh, live, my grandmother, uh, Peace, who was born on the uh, armistice of World War One in 1918. Uh, she had this way of singing when she cooked. Uh, of course, food is it's an incredibly strong um, theme in my life, my and my family's life. But uh, she would cook and sort of sing in a way with this kind of um, vibrato it's like theremin like um, and I think I used that in the song in a, in a kind of yeah thinking about family and thinking about um, generations There's one little goof where it sort of, for me, it, it, it resolves twice. There's kind of this double resolution coming up. But that's just a, a voicing thing in the melody. You hear, this, you hear this kind of like point of rest, then like an additional, and then another point of rest. But hey. I was still working this stuff out. And I wanted it to be sort of complex and sort of Baroque and exciting, you know. But yeah, the whole the whole tune doesn't have any sort of it has a repeating cyclical chord progression that's revoiced in a in a kind of uh, expressive way, but the whole thing has this arc towards this uh, one sort of moment of punctuation and then there's these little arpeggios that's right that have a little so that's just modulating the internal BPM on, on Zeta don't know if we can see the uh, the speed of the tempo Yeah, so it's very much like stacking uh, mellow timbers in a way that's rich. Bit of omnisphere. Just your standard, uh, your usual suspects. Synth one doing a more sort of vivid tone cluster type. And then these low basses. Huge. And this would have been hand rolled and from a pizzicato patch in MS-20. So you have ring modulation with a slight, with a uh, plus 20 cents. So that, that detune you're hearing is actually ring modulation on top. And the, I think the ring modulated VCO is actually a square wave as well. It's got to be some sort of waveform. I never checked. And then another one from Synth 1, which would be another So trying to be this sort of transcendental, sort of reverent, sort of semi-sleepy, semi sort of um, captivated or sort of perfumed type harmony with these low notes and this sort of energetic solo. Just trying to do something different, trying to do something impressionistic and kind of uh, a mood piece, a little sort of tone poem on this kind of spacious sort of semi sort of spiritual but yeah the the hello world in the title is the programming cliche plus the idea that my nephew was about to be um, revealed into the world And it has a kind of guitar solo type uh, inflection to this to some of the notes there. It's like a kind of a guitar solo shred, like a like a uh, a passionate shred, you know. Over a yeah, these these uh, sixth sevenths impressionist harmonies. Especially this kind of run.
going sort of too high into the register, really pushing it, yeah. culminating in all these arpeggios and this growly bass. Hello world. <laughs> 